Okay, well yesterday Andrew was at the flea market and he picked up some treasures. Uh, today we are going to be going through the stuff that Andrew got at the flea market yesterday. Now, I have not seen this stuff yet. Um, I told him don't spoil it, don't spoil it, don't spoil it. And he would bring me one thing and I'd be like, I don't want to see it. I don't want to know what you got. I want a real reaction for the video, so I don't want to know what you got. Um, so I really have no idea what's in these boxes and I'm kind of excited for this mystery unboxing uh, from the flea market. So we're gonna go through this stuff together and we are going to see what Andrew got at the flea market. Hager is going to help us. Hager is our Illager's macaw. He is a mini macaw and he is very curious and playful. We'll see how long he lasts before he goes back to his cage. <laughs> <laughs> right, buddy? Good job. How long you last before you poop on someone? I know, right? He's like, oh, what is that? That is a table. table. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So let's start off. I only got a couple items at Dave's. Mm -hmm. um, I picked this up. I thought this was cool just at quick glance. And then I noticed it says USS North Carolina Battleship Memorial. So it's a little souvenir pencil holder. That's pretty neat. Um, I like that. And then I spotted this with the blue and the gold. Yeah, I like that. And I flipped it over, and it's Limoges. Limoges. So. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah, and it comes with its own little. A little stand. Display stand. Yeah. Anyway, so those are the two items I snagged over at Dave's. Um, Bill's. Bill was back. This was interesting. I had never seen a metallic McCoy planter before, so I'm, I'm guessing somebody spray painted it. What is he eating? What did, you give, <laughs> did you give him a pistachio while he's on my neck? Seriously, he he was he's gonna go pistachio. down my no, chair. You're gonna knock him off. He's, no. You're gonna make him drop his pistachio. That's his favorite nut. Oh, where's the shell? I can here. feel it. <laughs> I really like this. Buddy. It doesn't really look like somebody painted over it though because you can see the brush strokes. I don't know. We're gonna have to figure this out and research it maybe a little. You're killing me, Smalls. I like that a lot though. I like that metallic. Actually, Juliet pulled this out of the box. I she know. spotted it and she keep brought it in. She said, I like this. So it's got her approval. Yeah. So it's not the greatest market. Um, they're, they were once very popular. Um, I picked up some scummels, I mean hummels. <laughs> um, I actually like hummels because uh, it was something my grandmother collected. I can remember them being in a huge display case and she had a ton. I think my aunt's got all of them boxed up. I've got one of them upstairs in my office. Um, but. Some of these are marked West Germany. This one's pre-war. This little boy here holding the ladder. There was a total of seven of them. And they're all different. And at first, they were going to be ten apiece, and I did not want to pay ten apiece. So I was going to pass on them. And Bill yeah. said, well, if you take all of them, We'll do 50 bucks for all of them, which I thought was cool. So it's less than $10 a piece. Like this one, yeah, this little, um, and they all have names. Yeah. This one's missing his little name sticker. This one's name sticker's kind of wiped out. Um, she's little helper, but they all have little names. This guy's awesome though. Little postman. Yeah, I remember when I first got into reselling, um, that was kind of the, when, when they were in decline and they were <laughs> declining very rapidly. Yeah, this um, one's... But I remember one of the ones that were still kind of holding their value was the nativity set. And particularly the little baby Jesus. I, I remember every time I came across Hummel figurines, I always looked for the nativity pieces and I was always looking for the little Jesus in a manger because that seemed to be a valuable piece. I don't know if that's still the case. This was years ago and now I just avoid Hummels in general. Um, 
I, I, I generally do not pick them up. Um, but when you get them for the right price. You can pay if you can, yeah. So these, I expect anywhere between 15 to 25 a piece for yeah. them. So for what we've got into them, if one sells at 15, we're gonna be pretty close to breaking even. So that's, I'm, I'm okay with that as long as we're not losing. Yeah. So, but overall. I mean, you don't wanna be paying $20 a piece no. and expect that you're gonna be able to resell them. Unless you know right. what you're doing, then. This one's yeah, I mean, called Just Resting. Yeah, so we'll just give you guys a peek at some of these. Yeah, and they're adorable. They are really cute. I like them. Again, they they kind of have a little place in my in, you know in my memories, and uh, buddy. And that's that. A silver overlay. I just the design on this is really cool. Look at the. With the birds. The geeses. Geeses. <laughs> and the oh, handle. Oh, I see what's happening here. Oh, what did he find? Your phone? Ha <laughs> ha, he likes phones. He loves phones. Yes. He will play games on my phone. He plays solitaire. Um, anyway. He plays eBay on mine and tries to cancel cool. auctions all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing, bird? Mm. Um, they did not connect the handle, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. Ew. Hey, bird. This guy's cool. Patty. This is, his name is Patty. He's a Royal Dalton Toby. Cool. St. Patty's Day is coming. Yeah. Well, like... Um... Oh, I can feel nutshells down my back. Seriously. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. It's not. Yeah, you should have seen him earlier when he was helping me with my pizza crust. You're not a fan of milk glass, but I like this piece. Souvenir of Reading Fair with the hand-painted flowers on it. Mm -hmm. Whoa, buddy! <laughs> oh, that is cute. That's an older piece. Reading Fair. Eric actually picked this one up. I thought this is cool. This has got a Southwest theme. Mm -hmm. Tablecloth, table cover. Let me just get to the camera. I figure we give this one a shot too, because this one's all hand stitched. This has got a teapot on it. And I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a different language. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, German? I'm not sure. Like, I don't recognize the, no, I don't believe so. Let me show them. Hey, girl, don't bite my fingers. I don't believe that's German. Uh-oh, we've got a train. You know what that means? He gets to go back to his cage. Oh, are you going to disappear to your cage? Yep. I'll say no, I didn't do anything bad. I don't know, I liked all the hand stitching on this. I just thought this was a really cool piece. The blue and white, the teapot. Yeah, I like it. No, you cannot eat the hummels. Eat the hummels. <laughs> I think we could actually film through this, it's not that loud. Give it a shot. Right, let's keep going. Hello, bud. Are you, he's gonna eat my finger though. Okay, let's see what we got in here. My coffee cup. I like these. Mother, 1915, Wildwood. Oh, Wildwood, New Jersey. Uh -huh. I think we had one of these before, didn't we? We like, have. Did we we've, see one, and then... We've, we've had these souvenir red flash pieces. I, I, I have the Gettysburg ones. I buy the Gettysburg ones when I see them. I feel like we saw one from Wildwood. Um, uh, probably. I remember I just saw it in an antique shop. I know I saw Atlantic City. Why do you, what is your obsession with Hummels? I don't understand. This one's from 1899. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this needs to go to Diddy. Diddy? Diddy. Oh my gosh. This, this was for Diddy. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, not P. Diddy, just Diddy. In 1899. Diddy. I like it. Do you like it? You have to taste it. You have to taste everything. I like that. That's neat. Yeah. 
With that finish. Small, good apartment size windowsill. Yeah. No, you cannot eat the box. You must eat everything. Um, be careful with these guys. We got a little elephant um, figurine. An elephant with baby. There was a fourth one of these small ones, yes. but it was broken. Um, the big dishes marked Nippon. Yes, they're nut dishes. So you've got a little set there, and I don't think the spoon Not goes spoon. with it, but that's also from Japan. This is actually kind of a, a common um, pattern for Nippon, so it wouldn't be hard if we listed this. You know, I think, and I think we've actually sold a few pieces with this mm -hmm. pattern. Yeah. So it's possible that somebody could buy that and match it with what they have. Now this is a nut dish with little miniature nut dishes. So this is the master and these are just the little nut dishes that go with it. But that's beautifully painted. I love that. These sets usually, well it depends on the set. Um, the ones that have had the peanut or they look like nuts on the bottom, those ones we've sold pretty well, but these ones we typically sell for about 30. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I liked that it was the big one with matching little ones. I like the cobalt with the gold. I, I think that's really pretty. I like I know. this. It's not, it, it's very, actually very decorative compared to some of the plainer ones that we see. Yeah. See, and here I am, I'm going, I wish Bill was back so I could buy some man items, and here I am buying the lady items. Well, they did point that out in the video, but you don't read the comments, so you wouldn't know. I'm not allowed to, most <laughs> times. You're not allowed to respond. You oh, I definitely just felt one of those halves of nutshells definitely just went down the butt crack in my pants. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I just felt it drop. <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> it's wow. funny. It's funny. <laughs> oh boy. Jackass for a yeah, jackass. Yeah, and he's got dice. Is that funny? Look, it's a look, it's a, a donkey. Ashtray. Oh, it's an ashtray. Yeah, it was made for an ashtray. For like game night or whatever, because mm -hmm. it's dice. That's pretty neat. Do you think it's pretty neat? Say yes. I think it's very neat. Mice riding the oh, duck. Oh, mice riding a duck. Oh, hi. That's my face. Mm -hmm. That's my face. Ooh, planter. Yeah. Corky. No, not a planter. No, I was talking to he's eating. Oh. Food. Oh, he's mad. He says, don't take me away from the planter. That's a doggy. No, you can't eat the dog. You just want to eat everything and taste it. Um, that's a really cute one. What is that marked? Hmm. I'm gonna put him um, back. Um, Lec Lectonware Corky. Yeah. That would be worth researching because yeah. that's not just like somebody signed it. That's an actual like brand of something, Lectonware. Yeah. I don't know if I'm reading that right. But the puppy's name is Corky, because it's in quotations. Weirdo bird. He is a weirdo. Look at him. He's like He's drumming. an acrobat! He is. He's an acro bird. <laughs> What's he got in there? You got all kinds of goodies in there. Here, I got you. How about a lamp for the lamp lady? Oh, that's I really one. liked the fixture on that. It's like a cute little uh, hanging kitchen. Yeah, like a kitchen lamp. Yeah. A kitchen sconce. It's ceramic and it's got the little stove. What do you think? Does it meet your approval? You tried to eat it, so that must mean yes. When he tries to eat it, it what do you see the price tag on this? My gosh, that is so cool, though. And he's on, he's sitting on a wishbone. It's Derby Silver Company. Okay, so. But it's, it's silver plate. It's pewter. Oh. This is Bingham, Binghamton, Connecticut. Um, Best wishes. I'm digging that. An, this is an older piece. This is an older I piece. Have to that they were asking $49 originally for this. 
honestly, I think that piece is amazing. And it I don't is. know if I'm going to be able to get rid of it right away. This well, might stay with us for Easter. Little, sitting on a little wishbone. Hey, girl, I need to be able to extend my arm. And you're kind of just hanging off my sleeve there, bird. Oh my gosh. You're going to fall. You're going to fall. Don't fall, buddy. Come here. I love that. I don't know. I mean, like, I have enough stuff. Lately, I've just been trying to cleanse, and I've actually been just listing stuff as I find it. If it's in the house, I've been listing it. And so I say I want to keep it, and I love it, but at the same time, I've got too much stuff, and I'm just, I'm on a cleansing spree. Just out with stuff. Um, that's just I adorable. Like that. It's not marked. Kind of heavy too. Yeah. It's got it's, it's got a little, little bit of weight to it. So it's not it's not that really light stuff that I'm used to seeing. It's cute. All right, dude, you're going back. He to really just wants to play with the stuff though. Oh, he I thinks know. this is his stuff. I know. He's he's so needy. You're he worse thinks, than the kids. He thinks this is his stuff. He really does. You're he's worse like, than the kids. You're giving me these offerings and you're not letting me play with them. I know. This is my stuff, people. So much color. He really is upset about this. You I'm realize sorry. that, right? I'm sorry, buddy. You should go get his toy and just put his toy here, and then he knows that that is his. He could play with that. He knows. He, he knows he's getting ready to go back to the cage because look how look how oh, calm look he's. Oh, how sweet he is. He's yeah. like whispering sweet nothings in your ear. He's like, please don't take me back. He's like, I love you. I love please, you. Please. I love you. I'm kissing your ear. Please. <laughs> All right, stay a little while longer. Let me go get his toy though, so he has. It. You can chew on this. We'll hang it from Daddy's sweatshirt like this. Oh my God. There. Okay, let's go. Yay, toys! All right, keep going. You're joking, right? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Look, he's entertained. He's so happy. Well, all right, buddy. Can I have some too? <laughs> can I have a little bit of that? No, it's his. That is his. That? Leave it. Keep going. Oh, share. You gotta share. Be friendly and share. All right, this is cool. It's a little lacquer box. They had a um, price tag of $25 on this. Hmm. There's a lot of times where they're putting stuff out. I don't, oh wait, this is metal. It's not wood. This is a wooden box. I mean, this is a metal box. Metal one, yeah. It's a metal box. Okay, I didn't notice that. I was wondering why it was so heavy. That's because it's metal. I didn't take notice. But a lot of the wooden boxes. Well, that's what I'm used to. I'm yeah, used the wooden. To being... I mean, it looks like it could be wooden. It looks like one of those wooden mm -hmm. designs. But this is actually metal. Really? Yep. But he has the toy on him. Let's put it over there on you. <laughs> he wants to be on me, but he wants to eat it on you. All right, let's keep going. We got All right, custom. here you go. A cocktail set. What I've always wanted in the original box. Federal Glass. Federal Glass Company. It's got like an atomic box. Those Roly are polies. really pretty. Those are cute little roly polies. <coughs> Look at those. I love the colors. Those are great. And in the original box. And the original mm -hmm. box is in pretty good condition. Yeah. It seems like there is some water damage. It's not awful though. No, it's not. It says Octagna Cocktails. $3.49 was the original price. And you can see how atomic looking the box is. This is, this is great. Columbus, Ohio. Ooh. Here, have a kitty. Aw, he's so cute. Um, I can't read what that says. He looks like Mexican Tonala. He's got a mark on the bottom, but I can't really read that. He's cute. I like that. Kitty kitty. This guy's cool. Um, he's English, but he's not a, uh, but it does, he's not a Royal Dalton, but it, he is a Toby. No, you cannot eat the box. A little man mug. Oh, I like this one. You would. Mm. It's not marked. 
No, it's cool though. It's got a deco look to it. It does. You want to see the cat? You can put down if you want. Oh, good. You have the bird. Bird wants the cat. Check out this cobalt blue set. That's really pretty. With the decanter and the glasses. There's four, four of these little floral glasses. How are the leaves on those? Because the leaves have a tendency. I'm sorry, the petals. The, they're they're actually intact. Those are intact. That one's intact. So this, this one's intact. This is more intact. than likely bohemian glass. And these are intact. They're all the all the petals are intact on all the pieces. That's really nice. Yeah. baby bird. He is. You act like a baby. He does. You do, you do, you do. All right. So speaking of babies, check out this little alphabet plate. It's a cute alphabet plate. In Germany. This one's pretty. Transfer. Probably Germany or Austria. It's pretty though. I like the combination of the yellows and the blues. Yeah. I mean, these are like so great for spring. Even today, I was thinking I need to start decorating for spring. I know. And then I'm like, wait, no, we're still in February, and we're gonna get a massive snowstorm in March. Yeah. It's gonna happen. I'm waiting for it because we haven't really had anything. I know. <laughs> These are really cool. These are old. These are very old. These are early 19th century, 1820s, 1830s. They are hallmarked. They are identified. These are pewter plates. He likes pewter. Um, I have to. I have to try to figure out what this other caricature is on here. It almost looks like something that's similar to Hebrew, and I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Um, but yeah, these are these are pretty cool. And you can see the touch marks on the back. There's a lot of information online, but they're a pain in the butt to figure out. And I got like three, you can look or, about that. three or four more that need to be identified. I know. So, but these are cool. Um, not quite sure what this says on the bottom. It's Old Something Village. Sturbridge. Sturbridge? Old, Old Sturbridge, Sturbridge Village. Village. What is that? Um, I don't know, but I've been there. I don't know if it's in New England, but I remember going there as a kid. So you gave him another... I didn't! You did! He found Come it on. in your wallet! No, he didn't! <laughs> Stop! No! Andrew! What are you doing? Enjoy. No. I hope it goes down your butt crack. <laughs> I like your tie. <laughs> Go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> See what she does to me? It's abuse. <laughs> your friend loves you. I'm so abused. Your friend loves you. He says, oh, daddy loves me. He gives me pistachios. Mmm. <laughs> This could be Ooh. Brush McCoy. I like the shape of that. I want to say that was the uh, consensus that Eric had was that that's possibly Brush McCoy. There is a great vintage American pottery oh, identification group on Facebook. And I These go to are them made a lot. In Italy. Oh, Italy. Yeah, so there's five of them. Nice. And that one, the petals are intact. This is cool. This is Delft, but it's made in Belgium, and I really like the sea captain theme yeah, on that. Yeah, that's great. I really, that's really well done. Um, it's got a different, different hallmark than what you're used to seeing, because most of the stuff you see for Delft is made in Holland. Just push that. You just push that box right off the table. It's just empty. 
with paper. And I'm just going to go to the floor side room. Do, 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 do. do you like Hadley? Ooh, I do like Hadley. Do you like it when there's a, Ooh, I do. a man and a lady together? I do, I do. A farmer and a wife? Hadley plates? Oh, there's more. You're just, you just keep calling them out. What is it, like a whole set of Hadley? So these are M.A. Hadley, and we come across these a lot. All oh my gosh. All the ladies are different. Everybody's different. You've yes, got like this a is. Set. Yep. And we got a big piece here. Ooh. That looks like a pear with grapes. I like it. Yes. I knew you would. I like M.A. Actually, these were in uh, one of the Eric boxes. Yeah. Six. That's good because I think this one's got a chippy. It's got a chippy, but the gold goes over the chippy. Yes, so that means it was a manufacturing tool. And they were just like, you know what? Oh well. Do you see his pie? I got nuts in my butt thanks to you. <laughs> 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 oh, I love that you laugh. I this think cool. that you think it's funny too. This is an old transferware piece, but it's got some age to it. Souvenir Philadelphia. of Philadelphia. Cool. And it's funny because on there at the top, it says the new U.S. Mint. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not the new U.S. Mint anymore, obviously. Yes. But it's used as Philadelphia Community College now on Spring Garden Street. Oh. And the newest mint is down by the Liberty Bell and Independence Hall off of Market Street. Do, do, do. I only found one of these, but I couldn't leave it. I really like that. What is it? I don't know. I think it's maybe for a candle? I don't I really don't know. There was only one and I just thought it was too cool. What do cool. you think it is? Tasty. Ugh. Condiment dish. Is that Noritake? Um, it's just marked Japan. Mm. It doesn't have a, a manufacturer. Are you sure? I couldn't make out anything. It's got a bird on it. Yeah, not familiar with those marks. One point I knew what that was, but I do not anymore. Made in Germany. It was one year and out the other. This is just really too pretty to leave. Yeah, that is pretty. Very pretty dish. I love the gold on that. Limoges. Oh, we stopped recording. 1897 Limoges. You cannot climb on me when I'm standing. Why are you angry at me? He's the one poking you in the tail. We gotta keep going, we gotta get the kids. Alright. Let's see what else we got in here. Do you think this is gonna glow? Ooh, I'd say so. I like just do you look at it down <laughs> in the dark and it, it glows. glows. That's gonna glow. Do you unfortunately think so? there's Don't only like that one. Unfortunately there's only <laughs> one of them, but I know that folks that folks are starting to collect that glowing glass. Yes. What do you see? This is cool. This is Mark Germany. Really nice scene on there with the lilies. These ought to look familiar. Where are you going? And 
me if that's the older mark. Yes, those are the ones that, I think the one that you found is a little bit smaller though. Is it? I think so. I don't know. It's possible. I think so. So there's two more of them. These are interesting. Um, I really don't know. I really liked how this had like a more modern look to it. Um, these are locally made mm -hmm. and the guy's card is in here. The, the pieces are signed. Yeah. So he signed all these and they're marked um, wood turning by Earl William Hill, New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. Hmm. So and these are cool because you put um, oil inside there. Yes. Which I think that one actually has some in there and you light the wick and it, yeah, it's in there. These are cool. So, there's a little set of his wood turn bowls. Those are pretty. I do. I, I, I like multicolor. Yeah, yeah. I like I like the coloring to them and the lines and everything on them. This was interesting. Yeah. Got kind of a modern look to it. And Ooh, that's pretty. Some nice crusted milk glass, but this has a pink crust. I don't know what you'd call it a pink crust. I know we've got silver crust, we've got gold crust, and I don't know what the proper terminology is for the pink crust. Maybe it's just pink crust, but I like that. I like that a lot, especially for spring. That's perfect for spring. Yeah. I mean, we have a lot of the silver crust that I put out for winter, obviously. Um, but I like that pink. Oh my gosh. Freaking. Uh, <laughs> these nuts. This is cute. This is not marked. It's just got a, a mold number on it. It's probably German. Ooh, it's a vase. This is cool. Taste. This is not going anywhere. What is it? Hmm. Gettysburg? No, no. This is early 1800s redware. Ooh. This is this is a cool little pitcher. Um, yeah, I'm I'm not giving this one up. This one's going in the old stuff collection upstairs. Oh, peak. That is not re Williamsburg reproduction. That is that is honest to goodness 1800s redware. What are you doing? He's in a playful mood. Watch your tail in my coffee. Go play with daddy's tie. <laughs> There's a bell. Look, I got a little general. Mmm. No, he doesn't have anything offensive on him. Good. I was looking. I was making sure. I wouldn't have shown him otherwise. I don't want to get anybody upset. So these are interesting. Um, they're Fire King, McDonald's, Vintage, blah, blah, blah. If they say Good Morning Canada, they are much more expensive. Interesting. Um, however, these are still sellers. But Good Morning Canada with the sunshine. That's good to know. Those are the ones you want to look for. Well then. But four of those. Now, give you this guy. Ooh, he's cute. He's like Scotty. He's not marked. Yes, he is. Is he? Made in Japan. Okay. He's larger than a lot of the ones we come across, though. He's got he's a good size. Oh, hello. I know. I you. I'm used to seeing this in black. I have it in black, I, and, and now I have it in yellow. <clears throat> I have another black one over at the uh, building sitting in a box from two weeks ago. Yeah. That nobody ever got to see it, but it's there. <laughs> Whoa, it's everywhere um, I thought it was going to be. There are no bowls. We have to find bowls. Oh. There's no bowls for the, no bowl for the black one I have, and no bowl for this one. Actually, the black one came from, I believe it came from that auction that I went to. In Maryland. Oh, yeah? Yes. 
I love the yellow. It matches my hanger lamp. Except this is matte and that's glossy, so we might have an issue there. But I'll, I'll just overlook it for now. Well, here's the yellow kitty. Yellow kitties. Right? Not hello kitty, yellow kitty. <laughs> yellow kitty. Look at me, yellow kitty. There we go. <laughs> it's a cute yellow kitty. Green bird. Green bird, green bird. You're such a baby. I love it. Um, you are a baby. Pink puppy. Ooh, I have a white puppy listed right now. Probably by the time you're seeing this video, though, the white puppy. Well, then they can have a green one, too. <laughs> and actually, when I was at Finder's Keepers the other day, I saw a blue one. <laughs> and I didn't when buy it because I thought, you know, I already have a white one. I don't need another one. When it rains, it pours. Well, hey, let's just throw in a blue squirrel to go with the next time. Oh, I think this is Nilowak. It is, and I probably said that wrong. It's N-I-L-O-A-K, Niloak. It could be Niloak or Nilowak is just how it looks. But um, these squirrels actually sell for pretty good money. At least they did. I don't know if it's gone down. I and don't certain, see why it wouldn't. And certain colors sell for better money than others, and I don't know if the blue is one of those more desirable ones. How about a piece of McCoy? I like McCoy. Yes, a bird on it. I will allow it. Hager, what do you say? Do you approve? It gets Hager's approval. I'm pretty sure this is Murano. Uh, yes, I think it is as well. And there was just a discussion in the group about this particular pattern and I forget what they said it was called but it's that real like busy colorful craziness and there's the bottom that's beautiful I really like that it just needs to be cleaned up yeah nothing a little soap and water camp Fixed. You know, I love all the all the color in that. It's yes. Pretty amazing. Here's a cool piece. This is interesting. This little butter covered butter dish. Yeah. But wait, it's silver plated. It's Reed and Barton, so it's actually well, a little. Well, that's why I was poking it. I didn't know if it was glass. It's it's it, the insert is glass. The insert. Ooh, it's got a cow on you it. Can take, you can take the insert out. Here, I'll hold the base. Ain't that cool? That is so cool. The inside has a cow on it. That's so clever. I like that. Are you fixing your tail feathers? This has got another. That's interesting. Anyway. But yeah, so this is a Reed and Barton piece, which is a little bit better anyway. But the, uh, the, in the glass insert was the one, was the part of it that I really liked. Thank you, boo. What? Just checking our battery. Ooh, daisy and button. In red. I like it. It's still got something in it. Yeah, it's got oil in it. I wouldn't tip it. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to I'll have to empty that out before we ship it. Yes, please we do. Can't ship it with that. So somebody was actually using it. So I'll see if I can get this uh, readjusted properly back on there. Anyway. Uh, it's that box. Maybe you can find a home somewhere that direction. I can find a home this direction. And I'll pull this out. I grabbed this. This is cool. Ten bucks. I'm gonna utilize this somehow, some way. Nice little display box. It's Ooh, dirty. It's like filthy. Display boxes. But it's just easy open. I like having them around the house. If we could do a talk somewhere, and it's quick and easy. And we've got one more box. This got some cool stuff in it. Hi, buddy. I'll start you off with a mushroom Ooh, clock. I wonder, is that Mary Mushrooms? I don't know. It's not marked Sears. Oh, that's a nice mushroom clock. I like that. 
These are cool. RCA Victor oh. Nipper Dog on their advertising. These are 1982, 40th anniversary. So there's an RCA Victor building in Camden, New Jersey, and I want to say that's the original one. Oh, wow. And then this was built much later in Lancaster. Lancaster? Lancaster. I find it amusing that your family is from Lancaster. Lancaster? And you call it Lancaster. Lancaster? It's supposed to be Lancaster. Lancaster? I can't with you. It seems like pot metal, but it's adorable, so I'm going to forgive it. Little pot metal puppy bank with the bottom. I forget why we threw these in. I was talking to Eric about these. And I just, I don't remember. Are they elegant glass? They, they've actually, they've got manganese in them. They're old. Um, yeah, because I, I can see, see the, the purple. purple. Yeah. And I want to say these, the name began with a C. Cambridge. No. Not Cambridge. Not Cambridge? No, not Cambridge. I can't remember. I'll have to ask him. But these were better pieces. They're pretty. And I like how they're starting to go purple. I uh, like sun purple, and I know most collectors are like, "Ew, it's purpling," and I'm like, "Oh, it's purple." So, okay, so a lot of you who collect glass know why that happens, but for those of you watching that don't know why that happens, is to make the clear glass they use manganese in it, and the manganese over time will react with the UV light from the sun, and it will turn purple. And this is um, older glass. This is correct. Newer glass. Correct. Um, they used the manganese to get the glass to go clear, uh, which oddly enough goes purple sitting in the sun. So some folks actually have stuff what's called irradiated on purpose. Um, you'll see purple bottles on eBay. Be very cautious if the person is telling you that it is a purple bottle and it is an original pharmacy bottle. Pharmacy bottles weren't made in purple. Cobalt blue, clear. Sure. Green? Yes. Purple? No. Purple is not a good color to buy a bottle in, unless it's a specific kind of bottle. There are purple bottles, but not medicine bottles. Clear ones. Oh. Be careful. Uh, here's a cool planner. I like this one. No, it's not a tushy. <laughs> Why would I think it's a tushy? It kind of looks like a tush. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> it's a deer. And you know what? We it's have those deer. we have those deer vases that we got. Do you remember those? We only ever listed one. I don't know where the other one ended up. But we we could list that at the same time as us because they're different. There you go. But they're the same. Same, same but different. It's Royal Copley. Same 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 but different. Same same but different. That's what okay. I'm saying. Okay. That's exactly what I'm saying. Here, have a frog. Um, I think this is Brush McCoy. Is it? I don't know. It looks Can't like remember. it could be. Froggy toad. Effluent? He's a bank. Yeah, he's really cool though. Hey, look at his face. I know. He's, he's, a, very, like, he's a very happy bank. Ooh. Ooh. It looks like he's marked. Can't read it though. Oh, it's just a mold number. And the letter J for Jocelyn. He does have a cute face. <gasps> Piss me that um that Sadler Village thing again, real quick. I don't remember. Oh, this yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to actually tell you guys. This is modeled after a colonial coin bank. So you'll see the slot here. Um, on the the ones that I've dug out of outhouses, they're usually a little bit smaller. You will find bigger ones, but they're generally smaller than this, and the opening's not as big. And the only way to get your money out, you weren't shaking those. Kids were breaking them. So to find a whole one is usually pretty rare. Um, I've got a couple that have been pieced back together that I've dug out of outhouses because the kids would crack them open, get their coins, and then chuck the rest out in the trash. 
So, but that is what that is. That is actually a colonial piggy bank. Is what that design is, which I thought was kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Moo. Moo. Look at the face on this thing. Look at that. It's so cute. With the little chubby cheeks. It's a chubby cheek oh, cow. Oh, it's a chubby cheek cow. He's adorable. He wants to know if you want to. Oh, we've had we've had one of these before. Yeah, I think we've had that one in blue. I think we had it in pink. Have we had it in pink? I don't know. We have so many things so. and so many colors. It's hard Squirrels. to... Squirrels. Squirrel. Squirrel. Oh my goodness. Squirrel. Squirrel. You startled him. Squirrel. He was startled by the squirrel. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. We got Seductive Angel, the napkin holder. Napkin holder version. It's a uh, pewter. One. It's made out of pewter. Yeah, it's an older one though. It's really cool. Nice little... He's cute. Cherub. He's adorable too. They're all adorable. Oh, that's fancy. Mm-hmm. I like that. It's like a boat. Probably a console bowl. You can sit on me, but don't bite me. I'll get mad at you and throw you off. I like it when it gets chintzy. Ooh, a little chintz. It's really pretty. Yeah. What do you think of the chintz? He's like, I don't know. I'm just going to eat your head. Okay. We've got some busy chintz. That's great for spring. That's a great spring piece. I'm so excited to dig. To dig. That too. I want to go digging. I'm so excited to decorate for spring, if you can't tell. My are mind you? is on spring. Yes. Are you? Yeah. I want to decorate for spring. He's attacking your face. He's dead. He's had enough with your face. Kissing me. Kissing your face with his beak. This bird is not mean. This bird is a sweet bird. He's a weirdo, though. He He's... likes to eat ears. He does. And faces. Anyway, we get this cool little atlas, um, but it's a bank mason jar. Oh, a little hazel. Usually, atlas. you see them as uh -huh, salt and pepper shakers. Yes, yes, yes. But that yes. one is a bank. This is cool. This is a nice little advertising bank for the first penny savings bank of Philadelphia, John Wanamaker. Ah, kind isn't of like there a purse, purse that I listed that said one? Isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. I love that. Green opalescent. What is that pattern? I don't recognize that. It's a beaded something or other. Twig and giggleberries? That's what I was thinking. Is that you the pattern? You took it right out of my mouth. Twig and giggleberries, okay. It's not very common. <laughs> It's kind of a rarer pattern, so that's why I couldn't think of it. All right, and I got one last thing here. And this is it. This is the last thing. This is all you get. I think I know what it is because I've been looking forward to this and I haven't seen it yet. It's the last thing. And you, this told, is the... you told me ah! that you had it. <laughs> and I've been waiting patiently. Ah! That's not what I was... Do you don't want the spaghetti bride and groom? That... What were you waiting for? What? What were you waiting for? Poodles? Poodles? What? What? I don't have any poodles. Oh. They're normal people ones. I said that. <laughs> I thought you had the poodles no. this whole time. <laughs> no. I wish I had a set of the poodles. I was so excited. I'm like, you had spaghetti poodles? <laughs> It's okay, you still love me. Oh my gosh. No, the reason that I, my reaction was that is because the spaghetti poodle bride and groom are worth are, a couple yeah, hundred dollars. I know. And so this whole time he's been telling me he had spaghetti bride and groom, <laughs> I'm thinking they are the spaghetti <laughs> poodle bride and groom and they are just boring people spaghetti bride and groom. And he totally tricked me. 
sucker. I don't want to talk about it. But they're cake toppers. Hey, I was honest. They're actually, they are, you know what, they are pretty cool. I was completely honest. I told you, Spaghetti I was bride, bride and groom. groom. That I didn't say anything about a poodle. You made an but assumption. You know, you know you that I have, I've made it my mission she in makes life. Assumptions. I've made it my mission in life to find the poodle oh, version. They're actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. They would make awesome cake toppers. You hate them. I don't, actually. And I see that gonna little beat note. Me later for that. I see the little note you said that was inside. I want yeah, to oh yeah, let me let me go get a pair of tweezers out of the do kitchen. Do you have tweezers? I do. There's a little note tucked inside. And I almost wonder if it's a wedding announcement for whoever. You like them too? Wedding cake these came off of. He's just gonna go get tweezers. I'll be right back. Let's see if I can get it out of there. It's like Operation Adult style. No, without oh, ripping it. Oh, 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 don't rip it, it's old newspaper. Announced at a recent open house given by Mr. and Mrs. Wilson Scott at their home in South Lexington Avenue was the engagement of Patricia George to Russell Stepanchak. 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 Miss George is a daughter of Mrs. Ralph M. George of Glenshaw and the late Mr. George. This per perspective, the prospective bride groom. groom is son of the late Mr. and Mrs. George Stepanchak of Farrell. Do we lose a piece? Oh. Of Farrell, Pennsylvania. Miss George attended. Denison University and blah 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 blah. We should look them up and see like how long ago that was. Yeah. But that's, that's pretty neat. Cool. That's really neat. So she had stuck her engagement announcement inside the, inside the bride. Yeah, and it's in really, really, think, really bad shape. But I think when we do put this up for sale, we'll we'll put that in with yeah, it. Yeah, I think that would be awesome. I'll find like a little card holder or something to stick it in, slide it in, try to whatever. Twice I think things. that's kind of cool. Keep it together. That I do. All right, so we did switch birds. <laughs> you guys are always asking about the noisy ones. These are the noisy ones. Um, they don't really like that much attention. And they don't like me. They, they're, they're my birds. <laughs> well, this bitey one is. He's mine. Um, <laughs> but this is Charlie and Pumpkin. So they just decided to come in and join us. And Hager and them don't really like each other that much. So they live separately. But anyway, um, hi baby. Um, we are going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of this stuff that Andrew got at the flea market. Uh, I think he did all right. I think he did all right. What do you think, pumpkin? Oh, you're coming back to me. Um, I think we, I think he did all right. And I think we're going to do all right on this stuff. What was your total spend, Andrew? Um, I spent $200 at Eric's booth okay. and I spent a he just pooped on your leg. You <laughs> Why did you just shadow me? Oh, you're so sweet. You're the sweet bird, aren't you, Pumpkin? Always. Oh, so sad. The big one never does it. The big one never poops on me. It's always this one. Okay, let's wrap it Anyway, so I spent $140 at There she goes. Bills. <laughs> and I think I spent, I forget what I spent at Dave's. It wasn't much. Come here, poop machine. So, total. So, 350 bucks-ish. Okay. I think we'll do all right. I think so. We have a ton of stuff here. We do. A ton of stuff. I'm quite excited about that Murano glass. I think that's going to do quite all right. And uh, I'm excited about the spring stuff. I feel like spring is going to come in hot. Yeah. I'm feeling it. I yeah. know other people have to be feeling it, too. I so. need it. I got to dig. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. You gonna bite me? Probably. No, he just. <laughs> yeah, he's he not tries. doing it. <laughs> All right. Well, we will see you guys tomorrow. Later. Bye. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.